folks, and welcome to FYI in the Now. Citizen Bob here. Gladys will be joining us shortly. Don't change the channel, Mr. Mayor. You're going to love Gladys's commentary. Well, folks, we're going to start off with a big, big FYI hats off to Louise Guilfoy for putting together an amazing celebration fundraiser for Gord Fuller on Friday the 13th. And a big hats off to Jerry Hong for providing the venue at the Queen's. As you can see behind me, it was a packed house. So good to see Gord surrounded by family and friends. Over $7,000 was raised that evening. What an amazing night, and what wonderful people we have here in our community tonight. Hats off to all of you. All of you. Speak. Speaking of Gord Fuller, he surprised many by attending this past Monday's council meeting. Well, what a night that was, folks. Now over to Gladys for a recap of Monday's council meeting. Hello, folks. Gladys here. Well, what a council meeting on the 16th. A hell of a surprise for me when Councillor Gord Fuller arrived. I'm sure the city manager was delighted. <laughs> well, Councillor Ian Thorpe, bow to damn safety, bow to the province. Ooh. How about this? The city management would have had their way two years ago without challenge from the people. The dams would have been torn down and the taxpayers of Manama would have been up $30 million. No, Thorpe. Would it be different if there had been sports fields at the Colliery Dams? You were way out of your league, well, Mr. Well, Councillor Wendy Pratt. You might want to humbly ask Councillor Yokel about respect and protocol when referring to the city Maybe a little cultural sensitivity and awareness training? It does wonders, and I do speak from experience. Yes, sir. As for your continued turnaround and parroting of Thorpe's we must obey the damn safety, we must obey the province, take a look at history, Council Pratt. If it was not for people standing up to the government's throat history, you would not be sitting on council today. Hell, you would not even have the right to vote. Kudos to MLA Doug Rodley for speaking at Monday's meeting, and for all that's ever speaking to Minister Thompson on behalf of the citizens of Nanaimo, more than I can say for the mayor, and for Doug's common sense, no BS approach to the calling hand boom dog. Yes, Doug, it is fortunate that some council has been doing due diligence and critical thinking in regards to the dams despite city management's best efforts to the contrary. And yes, Mr. Rodley, we are. Doing the right thing by staying the course. Kudos to Councilor Kip. Damn right the process has been flawed from the start. The accountability lies at the feet of city staff, especially past and present city managers. SS mismanagement, Swaby and Seaward were in full damage control, giving false and misleading information such as SFN approving the removal of the dams. Bullshit. Until former Chief Doug White stepped in, SFN had not been part of the decision-making, or even consulted, for that matter, Mr. Swaby. Let's listen in a little bit to that conversation between Councilor Kitt and City Manager Kent Swaby. Survey size of spillways. So staff, before really doing an investigation in the first few months, had determined those dams were unsafe and wanted them tore out, even come up with a $30 million price tag to repair them when it was actually about eight. Your, your Worship, Councillor Kip is missing one of the points that Council actually voted to remove the dams. Oh yeah, under duress of and, lawsuits and, and that, the same stuff, Mr. And Swaby, that, the same duress. And that the Council First Kip. Nations were actually supportive of the dams coming out. Ooh, good old kick-ass Kip. You sure had Swaby on the ropes, yes sir. -y. And then next, folks. Savvy Councilor Bill Bestwick asked former Chief Doug White to speak to Council. Unfortunately, Mayor McKay disallowed Mr. White from speaking. Well, Mr. Mayor, Doug White, just like any other citizen, should have been allowed to speak. Was it out of ignorance or disrespect? Or was it because Mr. White would have shown them that City Manager Ted Swaby was not telling the truth? Covering gridiron swabby's ass, are you, Mr. Mayor? Well, there you have it, folks. And remember, it's Gladys, not Gladys. 